it's really a love letter to Bruce as well. And to, but it's a love letter not to Bruce the man, but to his music and his words. Do you know, it's about what words, how they can touch you. Bruce was writing all his songs in, in my movie, uh, the film, film is set in, 80, in 1987, but he was writing in the 70s, you know, about trying to escape New Jersey and trying to find a better life and get out on that Highway 9 and he was born to run. And, and it's amazing that all those words and lyrics completely make sense a decade later to a 60-year-old Pakistani kid sort of, you know, living in Luton. So imagine you come from that kind of town where your dad works in a factory and your mum makes dresses and you don't think you're going to get any of your dreams come true. And as a result of having chosen the right hero, the things that you might most have wanted in your life to become a writer, to actually have the person who you idolise recognise you. In a way, the film is kind of wish fulfilment. It's almost like a fantasy and a dream, but it's true. The Bruce element, the dancing and the singing, and the, that's, 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 I think that's what makes it the feel-good movie. Love of music, the power of words, it doesn't respect boundaries of religion or race or nationality. It's a global thing. So for me, it's a story of hope and unity um, in a time when, you know, there's more than a little division. And that really is the power of music and words.